You know, a lot of people take first aid courses to make sure they know what to do if a loved one needs medical help. I've taken those classes. A lot of folks have. Absolutely. Very common here. Yeah. But you may not know what to do if a loved one in the family is struggling emotionally. Now, there are mental health first aid classes that you can take to make sure that you are prepared to handle that type of situation. Joining us here in studio, we have Dr. Carl Clark and Kim Kaufman from the Mental Health Center of Denver to explain a little bit about this. Thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having us. You know, you can work out. You can have a healthy diet, yeah. try to get enough sleep, drink enough water. But if what's not going on up here and here is good, you're going to have some problems. That's true. And, you know, what happens is, is that sometimes very bad things happen, a suicide in the work setting or something like that. When we go in and do sort of a debriefing, people will often say, God, I kind of had the sense that something wasn't right, but I didn't know right. what to do. Right. Mm -hmm. This is what mental health first aid is about. Well, and I've taken first typical first aid courses and you learn about recognizing symptoms and then acting. Uh, is that sort of what you're talking about when you talk about mental health first aid? It is. It's an eight hour course where we teach signs and symptoms of different mental illnesses and how to help somebody in that emergency situation until they can get follow up help. It's heartbreaking when we have to cover these stories, especially when we're talking about teenage and youth suicide. Uh, you know, when parents think back in so much remorse, did I miss any signs? Well, like you said, in hindsight, I, something seemed right. off, but we just weren't sure. Yeah, and when people don't know what to do, they don't act. Right. And this gives people the comfort level of, wow, I have some concern here. I can ask questions. And if there is something going on, I kind of know what to right. do to get the person the help that they need. Well, I'm sure it's all about approach, and it's such a heavy topic, it's probably very intimidating to talk about because you're so afraid to say yeah, the wrong thing. Sure. Well, one very easy thing to say is, um, you know, nobody likes to hear what's wrong with you, but people know each other, and yeah. you can say, what happened to you? Like, something's happened. Something's on. And that mm. opens the door for people to say, wow, I'm not sleeping, I don't feel good. Mm. Do you see what I mean? It, makes it an easy uh, right. way to have that conversation. So who should take this class? I mean, should parents take this class? Or should people who have people they're concerned about? Or should they take it before they have people they're concerned about? I would say both. I think mm -hmm. everybody can benefit from this class. You know, one in five Americans suffer from some sort of mental illness. Yeah. And so everybody's touched by it. And so we can, you know, everybody can learn. You know, if you have family and friends, of course. But even just general public, we teach, if you see somebody in the streets that look like they might be suffering from something, how can you approach them and help them? Well, here's the info. It's uh, it's only 20 bucks, so it's not super expensive. You said it's eight eight eight, uh, eight hours, hours, and it's twice a month. Yes, we offer youth and adults um, classes, and so the first Friday and the third Friday um, of every month, we offer the course for eight hours. Great. Again, it's not an easy sub subject to mm -hmm. talk about. We know that. Everyone knows that. And that's what, why we wanted to bring this kind of on here totally. and talk a little bit more about well, it. Well, one of the things that happens when people take the course, they find out, in fact, the brain can get ill just like right. any other part of the body. Right. And that these things happen and things can be done to help one another. And none of us are perfect. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's Amen to that. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Let's get over to Sam. Speaking of not perfect, the traffic is nothing close to